Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to Beauty News. This is the uh, 23rd of March edition. It is. We'll be talking about new stuff and updates, but first... Oh my god, welcome podcast listeners. Yay! Yay! So exciting. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we should actually introduce ourselves yep. for people that might have come across this in a podcast form. I'm Kat. I'm Hayley. That's our voice differences. Yeah. Um, and... We talk a couple of times a week about makeup releases, beauty releases, stuff, and uh, we discuss them in depth sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been doing this for a couple of years on YouTube, but now for our YouTube friends that want to take the audio away with them, mm-hmm. um, we have heard that people like to watch our videos uh, when they're exercising, when they're yeah. going to work, when they're driving to work. And I oh, they don't watch when they're driving to work. They, they listen. They listen. They yeah. stream it and they yeah. listen. And I know how much data that takes yeah. up. Um, I know how bat- how much battery life that takes up. And I also know that I personally love listening to podcasts while I'm at work. So if you're that kind of person, we're now turning these episodes also into podcast format. So everything you're seeing here, it's just the audio of it and um, a link to some of the photos that we discuss. So it all makes sense. So... Welcome to mm-hmm. new people, um, and hopefully, if you did want this to be a podcast, it is helpful. Yay. Yeah, we're trialing it. We're giving it a go. All right, so we're going to get into it. We've got something here from Australis. Okay, I listed this as an important thing, even though I don't think we've ever said that Australis releases are important. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. But, um, okay, so once again, if you're new to this, we like to talk about, oh, it's a new thing that we're doing anyway. We're talking about the most, what we think is the most interesting stuff first, then we're going into less interesting and then speeding through stuff that we don't know much about or is completely boring at the end. So the reason I listed this as important is because we've had so many requests to destroy um, a kind of jelly, jelly highlighter, highlighter. Um, and we in Australia don't have the Fasali ones available. No, and I thought that this we might... did do the Zoeva one. We did, but I was thinking that this one could be fun, and we could see like how much body it covers yeah. or something strange. So I wanted to mention this only because I know that a lot of people were really mesmerised by the formula of that Fasali one that came out. Um, a couple of months ago, but this is like a more affordable version and pink. It is very pink. Indeed. It's very pink. So uh, yeah, if you were interested in those kind of jelly, weird, textured highlighters, and you've got access to Australis, there is a drugstore one coming out, and it's probably the first release I've seen from Australis in a while that is sort of On ahead trend. of the trends. Yeah, like it's... there's only been a couple of brands that have done this, and it's this is going to be. People are going to do this more and more. So yeah, I was a bit I agree. surprised I and I were. had to give them some props for that. Anyway, you can see swatches and whatnot, but it's going to be, or it is $19.95 and it's available right now. It's very expensive for Australis. It is indeed. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got something new from Colourpop here. This is a collaboration with My Life as Eva. Uh, so it contains two eyeshadow palettes. Uh, one is called Vacation Mode with the purples and It's All Wild, contains browns, uh, a lip bundle that contains an ultra glossy lip and two ultra blotted lips, plus a face duo called Mermaid Glow and it contains Golden Hour and Siren Highlighters. It's looks like a blush and a highlighter. Okay, Like a yeah. satin blush and a yeah. highlighter. Yeah. This looks like a nice collection and I also like that they've done Warm Tone and Cool, cool tone, tone. so yep. all those people that are raging for for more cool tone eyeshadow palettes this is a really beautiful cool tone quad i'm loving um, the the boxes where one's like someone lounging in the water yeah. and the other one's a beach with the it's like an aerial view yeah, of the beach i reckon it's really cool i wish that was translated onto the packaging like the actual That'd be packaging cool. but and i don't think it is it looks like with the mermaid glow set they were just like oh, yeah, i'm tired now i don't, we don't have any more do photos anymore. <laughs> we don't have to pay a photographer for more yeah. photos so we'll just put pink um anyway that looks interesting um when is that coming out um not too sure yet they haven't said not yet so that's no. brand new news if we've got any updates i'll put them on the screen or we'll talk about them in updates excellent oh my god 
I put this as number one because I thought it was very important to address. JLo is probably bringing out a makeup line. Yeah. So Scott Barnes, who is a makeup artist, posted an image of JLo and he said, I'm using a bronzer that JLo is making. It's pretty amazing. Shh. And um, the image that he posted. Oh, that looks like the worst bronzer I've seen. It, that's like my bronzer blunders. Yeah. And I have had it's, many of them. And that that's like me trying to pan a bronzer. And I'm like, I'll just keep layering it. And yeah. then you don't realise until you watch the footage where you're like, holy, holy fuck. Whoops. <laughs> what did What was I doing? What was I doing? <laughs> I know I was trying to use it up, but god damn. Good lord, that so, is not appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is a, a blunder with... I'm saying blunder a lot today. But it's like a flash photography mishap. Because um, it looks like her foundation is possibly having a bit of flashback and then yeah. in contrast to the bronzer it looks crazy yeah um but yeah that's something that we will keep our eyes peeled I'm, for j-lo makeup i look i have no problem with j-lo bringing out a beauty brand mm -hmm. you know you do you girl i'm just hoping that whatever bronzer they've used is not actually her product because it's not good advertising it's, for it's it. It's not. No, it's not. I'm sorry, but I want JLo to bring out skincare because yeah. she hasn't aged in 20 years. I know. And I would like to know her secrets. Yeah, that's that's what I want. If her secrets is fillers and Botox, halfway there. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, we'll get there. Um, all right. Big news. Uh, KKW Beauty is releasing new products on the 23rd of March. So mm -hmm. when you're watching this, it is. It'll, nearly out yeah it'll be out tomorrow yes yeah. or tonight or australia yeah you know mm -hmm. um so this is just called conceal bake brighton so it looks like there are it's a range of uh like uh concealers in tubes with the doe foot applicator and pretty good range mm -hmm. um i have heard some people saying that the dark end is not dark enough mm -hmm. I think if you're going for an under eye concealer that's supposed to brighten, like I, I would say that this is a pretty decent one. Also, you have to look as well. They have um, got photos with models. Yeah. And if they're wearing the concealer and they're that deep, yeah. okay, it might not be the darkest shade available, but they're hitting the vast majority of the population and yeah. you have to give them props for that. Like you can always say, oh, there's not pink enough or it's not this yeah. enough or it's not my exact shade, but... Well, you can't expect brands to formulate the Haley shade or the exactly. Cap shade or whatever your name is. I do think people are starting to get a little bit over the top with, they don't have my shade. It's like, okay, but most brands don't have your shade and that's because they can't bring out 6,000 shades of foundation. Mm -hmm. We're all different. Yeah. We're all wildly different. So... Yeah. You, yeah, but you have to give props on... Because if you look at the shade range that they do have and the models that they are using it on, like, it's 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 not, it's not something to just poo-poo. It's something no. to encourage. And if they can bring out more because these are good and people like them, yeah. then awesome. But for, right, for a launch, I think it's not bad. While we're talking bad. about these swatch photos, can I just say, can you not swatch on your arm like this and then try and take a photo? Because... No, no, but what I think it is, and I don't think this is to show swatches. I think this is to show the face of the arm. Yeah. Like they've right. got the arm swatches. And then they show the And face. then they're showing but who it belongs to. If you can't see the swatches, it defeats the purpose. No, but they will have them as advertising swatches. Yeah. Like top-down shot. But I think this is like... Because often you see those miscellaneous arms and you're like, well, I don't know what skin colouring that yeah. person is because, because all you... I can see is the lightest part of their yeah. body, which is their inner arm. Yeah, because so... if you look at this, um, uh, I guess she'd be considered a medium model, yeah. um, you can see the inside of her arm looks is really fair. so much fairer than her actual yeah. face. So I did look at these and I was like, what are they doing? And then I just real, I, I think it's just putting a face to the swatch body. Mm. And I think the swatches will be on the website. Yeah. So you can kind of compare. Like, I don't know. I think it's it's not helpful them actually, like, showing no, it because you you can't see it all. But I think it's showing that, you know, you can find a shade for this particular model. Mm. Um, 
Anyway, so there's the 16 shades of concealer. Yeah. Um, and they are designed to be more of a brightening under eye concealer. Um, and then you also have um, like a pressed like a pressed press powder for brightening mm-hmm. and a loose powder for baking. Right. So that's why it's called Conceal, Bake, Brighten. Um, It'll be $18 for the concealers, 18 for the baking powder and brightening powder, plus the brushes. And then you can buy it in a kit, which yep. is sold as a bundle. You get a concealer, a baking powder, a brightening powder, and two, two jewel-ended brushes. Uh-huh. One of the jewel ended brushes is one of those hideous ones with a sponge. Yeah. Ugh. No. No. No, thanks. But yeah, they're coming out 23rd of March. So if you do want to check it out, I have been wondering what they'll release next because I feel like. It's been a while. It's been a while. For Kim. Yeah. yeah. It's um, only been perfumes recently. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, there we go. Mm hmm. We've also got a little sneaky peek mm. um, from Dodia. Uh, probably prior to Jeffree Star, probably the most hated creator <laughs> of a makeup brand. Uh, but she is oh, the creator let of... It go, <laughs> let it go. Let it go. People need to move on. Um, yeah, she's a creator of Lime Crime. There's all controversy around Dodia. Uh, look it up if you want to. Um, but my position on it, and some people ask why we talk about Lime Crime and why we share photos on Instagram. Same um, reason we talk about Jeffree Star, because it's news. It's news. We talk and about everything. You've got to let it go. But I also like to say to people, you know, in the scheme of things, they have had very good customer service and they have um, been a very reputable reputable brand for the last few years now. Yeah. Um, and you do they have to sometimes clean. move exactly. on and let things go for the sake of your exactly. own mental health. Can't so, hold a grudge forever. That's true. So, um, yeah, the, she did a live chat on Instagram um, and mentioned that there's going to be a new Venus 3 palette. Mm, so That was quick. Well, no, not necessarily. Like, if you look at the Venus 1, mm. and then maybe a year later there was a Venus 2, and then, yeah. like, a year or longer later Paper there was a Venus XL, out, XL which was an say, expanded version of yeah, the first but one. But to say that there's another one coming soon, like I'm saying, if you look at the history of the palette releases, you've got, like, one every year, mm-hmm. and then they're bringing out another one straight after the XL palette. So I think that is yeah. that's quick in terms of But their we don't past know when it's coming history. out though. No, She's they just, just say it's coming. coming soon. Yeah. But um well no that's trend mood saying coming soon. I think she said it in her live chat though. We'll see. There's going to be a Venus 3 palette. Don't tell anyone I said this. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, news that I think is quite interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, so Mecca Land is happening next month in Melbourne. Um, it is sort of like the Mecca Maxima kind of festival thing. It's got influencers coming. They've just announced that Shan XO is going to be there. Cool. So it's going to be the fifth influencer. Um, but they've also shown uh, an exclusive shade of the Steeler Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metal nice. Liquid Eyeshadow thing. It's going to be called Beauty Junkie because... Um, Mecca refer to their cult, cult following as the as Mecca beauty junkies. Mm-hmm. That's the hashtag you use if you want them to pay attention to you. Um, so there is a new, yeah, a new mag- uh, magnificent metals glitter and glow coming. It's a pink with like a gold shimmer in it. Mm-hmm. It looks really pretty. Yeah, and it's something I think I'm keen to check out while I'm yeah. there. The Instagram says it's been created just for you, Mecca beauty junkies. Launching exclusively at Mecca Land. So whether they then roll it out in store, probably. Yeah, they, I'm uh, sure they Whether will. they... I, I thought it was interesting as well that they called it Beauty Junkie and not Mecca... Beauty or Junkie. Or Mecca Land or something. Yeah. Because this might be something that they roll out in other countries down the track. Yeah. I do wonder if it's actually on the um, Stiller website. Because I know the Stiller website has um, shades that are... Um, exclusive just to the website Mm -hmm. but the last time i checked i'm pretty sure it was only like a i think it was like a holographic champagne looking shade no it's not on the website so unless it it might be coming down the track but right now it's not there and it launching at michelin cool all right a new release from winky lux and i'm personally very excited for this it is a matcha lip balm for $14 so it's made with real green tea powder 
food grade vanilla so softens repairs protects your lips and it is matcha i love anything matcha yeah they are they are look they are are trying to appeal to me me personally yeah, they did they're coffee. reaching through and they're saying cat love me again please yeah because we made a coffee collection tick match a lip balm tick fucking i'm down i'm not forgetting them trying to make us feel guilty about making oh, yeah. their designer cry which we didn't we didn't and then they never actually fixed the mistake exactly so i haven't forgotten so no that. I don't forget. I don't forget. I know everyone else does, but this isn't Australian politics. Yeah. I don't forget I don't anything. Forget. Exactly right. All right, this is an update, so we should be keeping it for Monday, but uh, this is already out. This is the Beauty Bakery um, blending eggs. So we said that we thought it was going to be little sponges. It looked like there was going to be six of them. That was correct. So it's a little pack of six beauty sponges, 18 bucks super cheap so really? three bucks a sponge yeah you can't really go wrong so um hopefully check them out they're you, nice yeah hopefully they're good all right i've got a few things from benefit here so they've released um an ultra exclusive palette mm -hmm. i believe it is um this is a pretty in the usa bronzer brows blush and highlighter set so it contains hula rockatua and dandelion twinkle and there's also a goof, a goof proof brow pencil. Um, $44 for the set. Value 99. Yeah, not bad for travel. They also have another pack that is exclusive to Ulta. Uh, it's the Blush Bunch Mini Blush and Bronzer set. A lot of people are really interested in this and a lot of international people are bummed that it's Ulta exclusive. Because uh, this is 24 US dollars, $58 value. And you get little minis uh, of six different bronzes and blushes. And if you've ever tried to pan, we're project panners. If you ever tried to pan a blush, one of these mini ones will last you probably a whole season of everyday use. 100%. So, um, you know, this is a really great way to sample their blushes instead of having to get the box blushes or the yeah. full size. So um, this is one that people are snapping up and very excited about. Mm-hmm. Um, another sneak peek we've seen is um, potential coloured brow products from Benefit. Yep. So they showed an image of the 3D brow tones and um, this one in the corner has blue yeah. written on it. In the description of this trend mood, uh, she also said purple and then other people in our beauty news group on Facebook, if you haven't joined, go join. Uh, they were talking about that they've also heard about gold and mm. pink. Right. Now, um, a few people are confused at why this might be a thing. And if you're familiar with what 3D brow tones are, they're actually not uh, like a pomade or um, supposed to fill in your brows. They're supposed to, they've got a bit of a sheen to it. They've got a light one and a deep one. One's like a bronze, one's like a gold. Um, not like a yellow gold, but like a soft kind of, I don't know, warm, warm, yeah. goldy color. And the idea of them is if you fill in your brows like a block kind of solid brow, you brush them just onto the hairs. And if you've got dark brows, you use a light one. If you've got light brows, you use a dark one. And it adds dimension to the brows. So it's not adding heaps of color. It's just adding a little bit of dimension. And I think this might be a fun way to add in colored stuff. Because mm. if you think of like, if you've got... A brow color that it might be a little bit too warm or you're a bit worried it's a bit too warm having like a slight blue tint could cool it down maybe yeah that's what i'm predicting but it, at the same time it could be bright pigmented yeah um, could be for people who love to rock a colored brow yeah could be but with the formula of 3d brow tones i don't think it will be but We'll see. I think it's just going to be a slight tint that adds a slight shimmer or a little bit of dimension to your brows in a different... Like, you know, like coloured highlighters. Yeah. I think it's going to be something like that. Bobby Brown, um, they've released the Pretty Powerful Pot Rouge. And this is in... Um, or they've partnered with Kiva uh, to help low-income women around the world secure micro loans and create better futures for themselves. It's a limited edition product. It is a cream blush, it appears. So if you want to support the cause, it is a good one. Um, and if you like cream blushes, Bobbi Brown 
is trying to release more of them. <laughs> yeah. Also, they've shown um, some of their summer releases. So they've got um, two sort of like matte compacts, one bronzer, one blush, double-ended uh, brush, and then also a shimmer brick palette with limited edition packaging. So that's what we've seen so far. Actually, these, I don't know if they are matte. Well, they might be they, shimmery. They might be satins, maybe. Yeah, they... It's hard to tell. Oh, here we go. Ulta is just all over it. So, yeah. Chanel is coming to Ulta. I don't even know. What they are really pumping out the releases. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because I feel like Ulta was always, you know, drugstore. Sephora mm -hmm. was more high end and you go there to, you know, spend a fortune. And I feel like Ulta has decided, no, nope, we're not going to be like that anymore. We're gonna, we're gonna have all of it. Mm -hmm. So they're bringing in a lot of like luxury suppose, brands, yeah, luxury brands, and also like I don't want to call them indie brands because they have been around. Well, they for are a while. indie because they're not owned by a bigger brand. Yeah, so technically they are. They're indie. like online, like dose of colors. Yeah, and stuff. online yeah. type of brands. So I think um, it's interesting. They're definitely trying to compete with Sephora. A lot of people mm -hmm. have noticed as well, as soon as ColourPop hit Ulta, yeah. out of Sephora. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I know that Sephora, they did ha stock ColourPop as a trial over yeah. the holiday period and clearly mm, didn't it didn't work, work out. out um, and so they jumped ship to Ulta. So mm. interesting. Another thing from Chanel, they've launched two new Hydra Beauty products. So we've got the Micro Liquid Essence and the Night Mask. Ooh. Night Mask, $65. The um, Essence, $110. Ooh. Ooh. It's a lot of money for hydration. Yeah, no. Maybe grab a glass of water instead. I think so. Uh, we've also got some Givenchy Summer releases. African Light Collection. Yeah. Uh, pans are beautiful. I know. That highlighter. Stunning. I know. So it looks like there's a bronzer, highlighter type product, uh, duo kind of pan, um, a highlighter with a gorgeous design on the pan, a green liner, and two lipsticks. Um, there you go. Pretty. Another update, but we're getting it out because why not? Um, we've seen what the Glam Glow My Little Pony collaboration is. Now we presumed it was just going to be one of their existing masks mm. chucked in some different color and limited edition packaging and we and were, were spot, spot on. on so there are three that are being released uh there is a so they're the gravity mud glitter masks so it's pretty much gravity mud with glitter thrown into it um and there is a black one a pink one and a purple one um they do have weird names all right so we've got pinky pie pink Twilight Sparkle Purple and Princess Luna Black and they all have I guess they're the names of the characters I, they must be they I must be no but idea. they're on the packaging as well and it comes with a little kind of spatula um, they look fun the colors are really cool there was an exclusive video from makeup Shayla so um, she kind of put up this video of her applying it and the colors are rad they are really cool colors but it is just gravity mud yeah. with glitter in it it just and a makes, high price tag. I just think about the um, Power Rangers ones. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure was... I think it was Gravity Mud. I can't remember. Anyway, they brought out two of them. Yeah. And um, they're on sale on Sephora, so... Well, that's the thing. Like, it, it, it's nothing... Yeah. And they often will... Like, these, these are each $59, and they're launching in April at Sephora. So they're not cheap. Yeah. No. Um, and most people who have gravity mud probably won't buy won't buy a second one just because it's bright pink. No. Unless you're a huge My Little Pony collector. Anyway, that's what that is. Coming in April. Uh, Guerlain. We've got a new terracotta. Oh, I'm not even saying this. It's a really pretty bronzer. <laughs> it is a yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, no, what I'm it's not called. even trying. I'm not uh, even trying. But it is a gorgeous bronzer launching in June. Yeah, it looks like a compass face. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So you've got the bronzer with the gold starburst and the pink in the center. Yeah. Stunning. Stun, stun. 
There is a new collection from Kiko. This is the Green Me collection. Yeah, so this has been released. Mm -hmm. Um, And essentially what it is, is it's a limited edition range. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's got a bunch of stuff in it. I'll list off the products soon. But the key is that the packaging is green. So... There's no actual green items in here, so don't <laughs> don't be mistaken for it's going to be a green collection with green colours. Um, it is the packaging is made out of recyclable plant based plastic, wood, and paper. Good. So um, they're going down the eco route when it comes to um, packaging, which more brands should definitely do. There's so much waste in this industry. Yeah, this is a really and it kind of annoys me that this is limited edition. You kind of think this should be something that you should be rolling out throughout all your products. Yeah. But um, so it's also inspired by like nature. So um, a lot of the tones are a lot more natural. The ingredients might be more natural. Um, And it includes um, two bronzers. So they're loose bronzers, uh, blushes. There's lip and cheek pencils um, that are in wooden kind of uh, pencil packaging. Uh, There's highlighting pencil, brow pencils, eyeliners, a mascara, and two eyeshadow palettes, uh, one sort of a little bit more cool, a little bit one a little bit more warm, but very very nude. Um, lip gloss pencils, BB creams, um, and there's also some like skincare products like soaps um, and also some tools. So they've got those. What are those weird sponge things? The are you thinking of a cognac sponge? Yes, yeah. cognac sponge. Yeah. So they're going the very very sort of natural route. Right. Um, which is cool. I like the idea. I think the makeup itself looks kind of boring. Yeah, it's um, not for me. But I would love to see them just implement this packaging throughout their actual range. Yeah, I think brands that um, this we do monthly empties on both of our channels, and um, when I'm pulling out like recyclables and non-recyclables, I'm kind of disappointed that you know it's a it's always a fifty fifty mix. Yeah. You know, not there was all a brands, lot that you just throw in, yeah, in the normal garbage. Yeah, not all brands go to the effort to um, make sure their packaging is recyclable, mm-hmm. and I think it's really important. Like, take some fucking responsibility. This is one of the biggest like consumer. Like, we consume so much. Yeah, um, when you have a bit of a beauty obsession, I suppose, and we go through. I don't even know. We probably go through hundreds of products in a year because we love. We love you just the look at the, the, the soaps and the even the toothpaste exactly. and the shampoos and the body yeah. washes and everything even that the, people use. The standard person, if you have like a, you know, two adults and two kids in your home, take a look at how much, like packaging you throw out in a month. Yeah, it's Brands ridiculous. Have to, yeah, they've got to step up and do something about yeah. it. But what I like about this collection is they're still really affordable. So the mm. BB creams, sixteen dollars. Um, you know, the bronzers are eighteen dollars. The blushes are fourteen dollars. You know, they're they're quite affordable. Yeah. Kiko's um, always been good for that. The lip products, ten bucks. You know, so clearly you can make affordable products with good packaging. Um, you don't need to um, rely on the old. Oh, it packaging is really expensive. Like they've managed to do it. They should just keep it up. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, we talked about um, an upcoming collection, Graveyard Glamour, Mm -hmm. in our last episode, and they've shared a couple of images, but this one is, it kind of gives us a vibe, it is a Vampira and Lunatic Cosmetic Labs collection coming March 20th. Now, as we film this, we are currently in March 20th, however, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs are not. Yeah, uh, we are in the future. So, what? Since we're not going to be able to talk about what the product is, it looks like an eyeshadow palette um, with Vampira or Vampira or however you want to say it. Um, we will talk about it in updates. Yeah. So you wait. Okay. Quick update. We always like to say we're doing news in this video and updates mm-hmm. in Monday, but if it's launching today, I feel like I need to tell you. So, yeah. um, Melt Cosmetics, we talked about the baby girl stack, um, and we've seen what it is. Uh, we've seen swatches and it is launching the 23rd. So, um, when you're watching this, it's either launching later tonight, tomorrow or something. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Um, 
a lot of people are disappointed in this, and I understand why. Yeah, so do I. Um, so Baby Girl, we saw some sneak peeks of vibrant pinks and um, some kind of fun colours. Mm. And what this ends up being is just the the, the rust stack yeah. take two. So um, I think they should have really played up the almost pastel pinks and peaches and mm-hmm. um, because it would have been a nice complementing... Uh, stack to the bright oranges that they've released before and the burnt oranges so I think this was a, a lot of people think this is a hit like a miss and I I totally agree I also noticed even though I'm wearing bright orange eyeshadow today for my one month one palette series it's not what I choose to do on a daily basis but a lot of people are turning against the really vibrant orange palettes yeah because it's over just it. been I'm over it too I'm done it was it was 2017, and it was all year. Yeah. 2017. Fucking stop. Do something different. And we're, we're into, like, we're quite well into 2018 exactly. now. We want something else. Trust me, it's going to be Christmas soon. If you don't sort your shit out with your releases and realise people are really getting over that warm orange-red thing, they're going to move on without you, and it's very hard to catch up once you get behind. That's okay. true. Okay. Done. Julie noted Uncle Haley. <laughs> Trust us, we know. <laughs> this is our job. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ofra. This looks like children's makeup. I don't like this at all. I'm it sorry. Is... I just I mm. can't I can't get behind it. I like that you can pop them out. Well that's a good thing because this is massive. Yeah. So it's a spring launch from Ofra or Ofra. Eyeshadows, blushes, highlighters, massive orange bronzer. It's too much for me. I'm just like, this image here says want hashtag offer glow. And I'm like, want Take to away. self-medicate. <laughs> Take away. <laughs> too Take much. It away. Too um, much. But, you know, there are some interesting colors in there and people love their highlighter. Um, it's actually called the Free Spirit All-in-One Palette. $79.00. It's got a full-size highlighter in Beverly Hills, a mini Rodeo Drive highlighter, one full-size bronzer, eight eyeshadows, two blushes, one matte banana shade for brightening. So that's everything that's in it. Coming 20th of March. Already released. Done. A little update. (laughs) Yeah, we've got some updates we need to catch up on because we didn't film on Monday. Anyway, this is Besame Agent Carter collection. It's finally released, we think. But we're not too sure because people had their, they signed up to pre-order or um, launch. Notify. Notify yeah. for launch. And um, when they went to purchase it, they realized it was a mystery box. Uh, yeah. Which kind of makes sense, all right? Agent it, Carter. It's I, very I, true I to get the it. theme. Yeah, I get it. But people are frustrated because... There are some people who are like, I love Agent Carter, but I am also not a massive makeup junkie, so I want to know what I'm buying. And I think that is fair. Um, What's the price of it? I think it was $80. Okay, so the box isn't $80. It is $68. Um, And they're not saying what the value is, but people are trying to make guesses as to what it is by the time this video goes up people may have already received their mystery boxes so yeah we might um be able to show you but oh we'll update it on monday on monday but um they're wondering if it's potentially a lip kit so but that's not that's a lot of money for a lip kit well that's what they're saying like surely it's got to have an eyeshadow palette in there or something to make it worthwhile I would bloody hope because if you paid that much money for a mystery box and you got something like five lipsticks I'll be like are you fucking serious like they have to smash it out of the park with what's going to be in that box otherwise people are never going to trust them again do you think it's a deterrent though because their Snow White collection was so hyped up and so in demand and ended up um, being held up in production yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of people were not disappointed, but they were they were really kind of wanting yeah. it. They were yeah. really keen. And they were so pissed when they couldn't get it. Yeah, and the and the the 
the demand was way higher than the amount of product that they had. So yeah. maybe this is a way to deter people from buying it and it's only really the die-hard fans yeah, that will possibly. jump in and spend that money on something that they don't know what they're getting. Okay, Clarence has shown a sneak peek of their summer 2018 collection. This is a limited edition collection. Um, awesome tropical packaging. There is one of their instant light lip oils in there. It's beautiful. A really dark shade. Dark, dark, um, purpley like a, red. It's like a cherry shade. Yeah, there's also a bronzer in there. And they've brought back their... <sighs> Um, what are those pens called? Clicky pens. Yeah, I know they've got a special name, but yeah. I can't think of it. Do these even sell well? Look, I'm I'm thinking they must have, unless this because they production beforehand, back, potentially, or they've just got the packaging left over and it was just an easy. They just want to for stamp them. some flamingo yeah feathers on it, and they're like, potentially, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna say this. I actually reckon that their first release of those pens would have sold really well because people would have been curious about them. They would have purchased them, and I feel like we heard about them a tiny bit, and then everyone just shut up about it. They yeah. didn't want, it was just like, mm, yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, moving well, on. Well, we'll see what this one's like, but their lip oils are fab. They are. I'm so, keen. Oh, it's in Blackberry. Blackberry. Oh, I want it. I know. It should be released in May. Uh, Dior Life. It's a Hydra Life. The high high end luxury brands are bringing out the expensive hydrating skincare this, this week. You know you can just go buy some hyaluronic acid from like um, the ordinary or yeah something, something like super that. cheap. Like, yep yep yep. Don't need this. Stuff. I know that, but yeah, some people not don't. everyone does. <laughs> this is the cooling hydration sorbet eye gel. I want it. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> they they've just, got a moisturizer as they well. They do. Yeah, they They'll get just... me with that packaging and that sorbet eye gel. I'm just like eye gels. Anything gel for oh, me. I, love I drink it. too much coffee and I have very dehydrated skin. So love it. gel, I'm like, I'm down Give for. Give it to me. All right, this is a perfume release. This is just released in Mecca Cosmetica. So if you're in Australia, you can pick these up. Uh, but it's Diptyque. They've released two fragrances um, to celebrate 50 years of Diptyque. Wow. So these are sort of like uh, 60s sort of inspired. Yeah. Uh, you can called... kind of tell with yeah. the way they've, the labels, uh, the font. The font. Yeah. yeah. It's super like, um, you can just imagine this being like marijuana leaves or some psychedelic <laughs> yes. thing in the background. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. yeah. So we've got Tempo and we've got Fleur de... Uh, Fleur de Po? Fleur de, Fleur de po? po? I think it is Fleur de Po. Yeah. Okay. So Tempo is woody. Mm -hmm. It's a rebellious patchouli um, with violet leaf. And that's about it. And then Fleur de Po is a sophisticated floral elixir. Musk mm -hmm. tempered with iris, warm ambrette and peppercorn for an edge of spice. So um, these are currently available and they, yeah, to... Released to celebrate 50 years of Diptyque. Diptyque so, make great perfumes. They're very expensive, but they are, um, they're worth it, you know. And if you like a very high-end fragrance yeah. and you like a fragrance that lasts well and maintains well yeah. and is a yeah. very unique scent, then, you know, you do you. All right. Eco Tools. This is the Mother's Day release. It's Confidence in Bloom Beauty Kit. So it's an... It's a nine-piece set. Yeah. You get eight brushes and a um, storage tray. So, you know, there's something in there for everything. You've got face brushes, eye brushes, what looks Concealer. To be, yeah. Flat liners. Liner. Yeah. It's all in there. Um, and I kind of like the idea of a storage tray. Yeah. It's no, different. It is different. And if you're going to wash your brushes, so handy to just like put all the dirty brushes yep. on like a storage tray and then take them to the sink. You know what I usually do? I get like a towel and I just lay them mm -hmm. all on the towel to dry. And then roll and, them up. Yeah. And then I'm like, once they're all dry, I'm like, what do I do with this towel? Like, I feel like I can't use it because it's been used, but technically it's still clean because I've yep. only had clean, wet brushes on them. Yeah. Well, that look. First of all, problems. I could just wipe down my fucking tray. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a price? Oh, thirty nine ninety nine in Australia. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, hello, L'Oreal. These are um, palettes, new 
Quint palettes. We've got Stylist, which cool is... Cool-toned. Uh, Cool-toned, yes. Uh, it's blue with cool tones. Um, then we have... I really hate this word. I don't know why. It really irks me. Maximalist. Yeah. As in minimalist, but not yeah the opposite of minimalist so well it probably represents the beauty community quite well but <laughs> yeah. uh, is your packaging not recyclable but if you are yeah but if you are a maximalist you wouldn't need this because <laughs> it is champagne a soft kind of rosy champagne a burnt orange a like eggplant and a chocolate brown i dislike it optimist <laughs> is also a cool tone it is um this is very nude very cool tone look at that with a pop of color with a pop of color <laughs> that blue is beautiful though. it is beautiful i just want to say that i really like that shade of blue yeah and then there's nudist which is uh four very nude shades with a pop of i don't know burgundy mm. so interesting so they're calling them uh la petite palette i don't know when they're coming Maybe they're out in the States. They won't be in Australia for about six years. So That's true. By the time they get here, you would have moved on. <laughs> That's true. Uh, La Mer. This is a cushion foundation. It's launching in around April, May in the UK. Um, and I think it's just going to be very expensive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I don't, we don't know any information about this, um, at this point, but I reckon maybe, you know, $110 in your firstborn child. That's probably, fit. probably more than that actually. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, Makeup Forever have, um... <laughs> Sorry, I hate this palette. I hate this palette. This yeah. is called the Glitzy palette, and it's just shitsy. Oh wow! What are makeup forever doing? I don't know. Do you feel like they've really gone downhill? Yeah, I feel like, especially <laughs> lately, <laughs> they are releasing some absolute garbage. I'm just like, oh. <sighs> anyway, uh, the Glitzy palette includes highlight, sculpt, and blush shades with different finishes. Once yeah. again, this is frustrating because it's got looks what looks like a light row, highlight, sculpt, and blush. Yeah. And then a deep, deeper skin row. Yeah. Uh, unless you were sharing a palette with your bestie who has a completely different skin tone Which to I'd you. Which I actually recommend you don't do. <laughs> no, probably <laughs> not. By one like, It can be, you know, it can be uh, risky. Yeah. Health wise. Um, this makes no fucking yeah. sense. I just and also. Then people go, oh, well, Makeup Forever is an artistry brand. I'm sorry, but I don't know any self-respecting makeup artist that wants to have this fucking thing in her kit. But the, the thing is, Makeup Forever are notorious for selling the eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters and as bronzers singles. as singles. And then you create your own exactly. palette. This is, this, is, this, this is Makeup Forever trying to delve into the consumer market opposed to the makeup artist. Uh, yep. market and I think they're doing it really badly so they've got like we said the face products and then they've got three eyeshadows boring as fuck eyeshadows no mattes no dimension that you can create you can either go light pink gold golden taupe or golden sand oh I actually wonder if they're meant to be toppers because see how they call them glitz? glitz I reckon they're just going to be like sparkly so you put Blech. you put golden taupe just to to <laughs> like highlight your contour. Yeah, 100%. Fuck, it's all hideous. That sounds like something makeup forever into. Um, how about we talk about nude sticks? Uh, they're launching two new kits. So we've got the uh, Bebe Pink's lip kit, fifty nine dollars, and Belly Nude Eye Kit, fifty nine dollars. These are only available at nudesticks.com at the moment. Mm -hmm. If they will come in store. I cannot tell you just yet. Eye kit is $59 with $144 value as well as lip kit. Yeah, so the uh, eye kit, it's very, very nude, but there mm. are three mattes and three luminous eye colours and then there's different um, finishes. There's four different finishes in yeah. the lip kit, but they're all various shades of pink or peachy. Or I wonder yeah. why they chose to call them magnetic eye colours. 
I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think it'd be more to do with they stick they to your stick eye. They stick to your eye, yeah. But it's a bit yeah. strange. It's yeah. a bit strange. All right, surprise! Oh. Sephora have a new pro palette. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is similar to how they had a six pan neon one a few months ago. Yeah. This is just um, a sort of like metallic. Um, I don't know what would you call those. Um, the, uh, um, Silver, gold, confused. sort of pewter, <laughs> copper. Looks like a old gold and a red shade. Yeah, so I they're very a... not jewel but. Metal, yeah. metallic. I, I feel uh, that's why this palette kind of confused me because initially, if you go from the bottom up, it feels very like metal inspired yeah. with the metallic finishes. And then they chuck in a red. And a then suddenly red. it's like you know orange. All right, you can go copper, and then you've got the old gold. All right, old gold. And then what's with the red? Uh, we've also seen some liners. Um, these are Glide Liner Waterproof. Um, so we've got Snow White, Creamy Beige, Warm, what? Khaki, um, Red Berry, Brown Chestnut, and Deep Black. So there's also some brow pencils. Single um, eyeshadow. Single eyeshadow. That dark green looks bomb though. It I does want look that. Nice, Three, it? four, seven. It's pretty I good. I would take it. The only color I really loved out of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette was the dark forest green. Uh, it was a really nice alternative to like a chocolate brown or something. Yeah. And that kind of looks like it. So if I buy that, it means I don't ever have to reach for my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette ever again. So look, I don't hate it. Um, other things from Sephora. There's a 12-piece brush kit, um, micellar water and sheet masks. Um, the creamy lip stains and metal ones yeah um, which is coming in 90 shades well we, there's 12 metallic oh, 12 metallic but there's sorry new yeah. 90 new new shades. We, we talked we about this when um they were shown in the paris the, release yeah the uh france showcase yes yeah all right uh so we did see the tart um mermaid collection release so it had the eyeshadow palette it had the eyelash curler had the, the brushes. brushes. Um, they also added in a few other things that I thought were kind of interesting. Um, so they've got a new Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic H2O Serum. So that's kind of cool. If you want like plump, dewy skin, um, they launched that as well. And then also Mermist, which is um, a sparkling, sheeny sort of mist. So uh, shimmer spray, vegan. You can put it in your hair, your face, your body, and it has a pink shimmer. So it's like a finishing spray with a bit of um, shimmer in it. All right, along with that skincare, um, they also are releasing a hair, a salt, a sea salt spray for the hair, and it's called Mermaid Waves. So they're really trying to add to that collection as much as possible with stuff that yeah, yeah it's very really, loosely based on mermaids yeah. and that looks that packaging looks like it was last minute like yeah it is not connected we're, whatsoever. we're making this at our desk and throwing it into yeah the collection. as well as this thing here so it is spf makeup it is tart guard mineral powder with spf 30 so it's a brush on powder non-chemical sunscreen um so that also looks like they just chucked it in some other random packaging yeah um and they are making it somehow in the mermaid collection so i don't get it it's all for use at the beach go away who wears makeup at the beach if you do you're doing it wrong if you do fine you do you but i don't and i sure as fuck don't want to be dusting what even is this look i also feel like because we live in australia and our sun is very strong and our uv rays are like very very damaging yeah you, if, if you're going to be relying on this for your face sunscreen, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to have to worry about cancer in a yeah. few years' time because you need some really strong SPF, not just a brush of your mineral foundation. No. No. So no. Is, no so tight. That is bad advice. That shit don't fly here. No, it does not, does not fly here at all. Um, and then they're coming out with H2O glosses in 14 different shades and finishes, uh, six new Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks, Launching 16th of April. Yeah, Tarte really frustrate me with the way they do their releases. Colourpop do it slightly as well. Not to the same extent. But they're like, oh, we've got this 
um, palette that's been released. And then, oh, actually, it's part of a collection, lol, that's releasing two weeks later. Oh, and there's some skincare in there that sort of looks like a Rainforest of the Sea stuff that's coming up. And you're like, fucking make up your mind. Yeah, I know, I can't. Release I can't it all at the same time in a cohesive collection yeah. or make it something completely different. And so, all we do is see like little dribbles, little dribbles, and always like really potato photos that don't make you excited for the products. And yeah. then when you finally see an image from the brand, it's like, oh, a completely new product that you've never heard about before. And it's just like, go away. Yeah. It's too much. And it's just, it's chaotic. Yeah. And I'm just like, you're giving me a headache, Tart. And yeah. you do it all the time. I don't like it. Uh, from Tatcha, we have a new uh, Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Um, it's in a sheet mask. So they're Dewy Skin Mist, which everyone... Well, they say everyone loves. But then you hear people talk about it and they're like, you know, I just don't like this anymore. Yeah. You hear like, people rave about it and then all of a sudden it ends up on their products not worth the, the, like, the not hype, worth the hype yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you really do love the dewy skin mist, mist, they've made it in a mask. Last thing, Victoria Beckham is creating a skincare line. I feel like she had one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is like, what's that theory people have where like you remember something being a thing and then it turns out it's not a thing or it's a completely different thing? Um, the Mandela effect. That's what I feel like this is because I could swear she had a skincare line in another fucking universe. <laughs> I, just, I wonder if she ever did. I cannot. She had like, a fashion line. We know she had a fashion line. I'm pretty sure the fashion line's still growing. She has, did she have fragrances? She had makeup. She's yeah, got she had makeup with Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. I'm sure she's had fragrances. Every celebrity Unless it's just da David her. Beckham that's had fragrances. Maybe. Yeah, I guess she hasn't. Maybe you were thinking of Madonna. Yeah, I don't put them in the same basket, but maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I could have sworn that she had a, a skincare line, but obviously not. But she's coming out with one. She so. is. There you go. And it does seem that she will be hooking up with Estee Lauder for this one. Yeah, well, they are making each other a lot of money, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, right, and Estee Lauder makes some... Um, Oh, well-respected skincare, skincare yeah. so I can imagine her probably tweaking some of their higher ranges to make more like a luxurious one. More higher. More more higher. <laughs> more higher money. High. More, more money. Give more. me all the money. All right, that is it. We're done. We're done. Thank you so much for watching, guys, or listening if you're listening in the podcast. Um, and we'll be talking about updates on Monday. Monday. Now we do need a, an emoji. So yes. you made it to the end of the video. How about a microphone? Because oh, it's, yeah. our, it's our first podcast. It's our first podcast. All right. I'm sure Leave... there's a microphone emoji. Yeah, there definitely are. Yeah. Leave a little microphone in the comments yeah. if um, you made it to the end. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening on podcast or you like the idea of the podcast, definitely check it out. It's a little bit of extra work for us, but hopefully some people will love it. Um, if no one listens to it at all, we will just stop doing we it. We will stop doing it in a couple of months. We're going <laughs> to yeah. give it a bit of a trial. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.